Hi, Devin from T-Equipment here. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Seek Shot Pro and the FLIR C3. Both excellent cameras in the under $1,000 price range. And they've got some really cool features that we're gonna directly compare today. First, the FLIR. Now, this camera has been on the market for a little while now, about a year and a half for the C3 variant. Before that, it was the C2, which is still available, now $499. It has an 80 by 60 pixel resolution, and it has a two and a half inch touchscreen display. It's drop resistant, and it includes FLIR's proprietary MSX blending technology. It's not a camera I would recommend for a professional thermographer, but again, we're talking about a camera that's under $1,000. The two and a half inch touchscreen display is, is very nice, and you get, get to do all of the normal things you would expect with a FLIR because it is a fully featured thermal camera. You'll, you can also export the images uh, over Wi-Fi to your cell phone to do instant reporting in the field. And you can also take those fully radiometric images and import them into the free FLIR tool software, which is a powerful reporting suite and allows you to do a full analysis of any radiometry you may have captured and adjust the span and level uh, do area boxes, get the exact temperature of any spot in the screen, and generate a formal report. And again, that's free. It's great. FLIR Tools is really one of the major points why I recommend FLIR so highly for so many professionals. So this camera is, is great, but the 80 by 60 pixel array is a, a little bit older technology at this point and you tend to see a little bit blurrier edges than you do on some larger sensors. Which brings us to the Shot Pro. This guy is gonna have a 320 by 240 sensor. The comparable FLIR with that size sensor starts at $3,000. This is also $699. It goes right up against the FLIR C3. Has a three inch display, touch screen, a uh, good user interface, not quite as slick as the FLIRs um, because this is a new foray for Seek and they're just rolling it out and making some tweaks. But it's very nice and you can do a lot of the things that you would expect on a full professional thermal imaging camera. Uh, I'm mostly impressed by the fact that you can do area measurements on the Shot Pro. You can draw up to three different boxes and get min-max temperatures and averages, and it does capture fully radiometric images. There's no Seek thermal editing software that comes with this, so that is a drawback, but you can use third-party software if needed. I generally would not recommend this. If you are gonna be issuing reports, I would stick within the FLIR ecosystem, but this is bridging the gap, and in terms of having the 320 by 240 sensor array, it's a huge improvement. Additionally, the Seek is gonna have a 12 micron pixel pitch versus FLIR's 17 micron, and that just gives it a little more sharpness. Um, Seek has also introduced a new image blending technology, which lets you overlay the visual and thermal images on top of each other. So you can get a little more sense of context, and you can uh, read labels and just show all those visual details that you would want to see on a thermal image because they just don't have any kind of thermal contrast but are important to make sense of the thermogram. Uh, really the only thing to do now is to compare the images side by side so let's let's go ahead and do that. So here we have the Shot Pro as you can see we got well, center spot temperature, nice clarity on the thermal image. We've got lockable span and level. You can also user define those. Here's our main menu. You can do multiple spots. You can do that area measurement. Again, you can do multiple area measurements and you see all those parameters there. Or you can just do the hottest and coolest 
parts of the seed. You got different color palettes, like you might expect. Let's pick your favorite color. And then here we see Seek's new fusion technology. So obviously there's your optical, and there's your thermal. And here's the blend. So it's not terribly intriguing in this instance, but if you're looking at a panel, it might be very important to know and be able to read all the different labels on your thermogram. So you can adjust the, the level of blending and you can adjust the parallax distance. Now here is the same target, the same ductwork with the FLIR C3. As you can see, the level of detail just isn't, isn't quite the same with the 80 by 60 sensor. Um, but let's see what it looks like under MSX. Oh, there's the vent. So there's just not, not quite as much thermal detail without the higher resolution, the higher pixel count. This is still perfectly workable. You know, having that MSX at the lower resolutions really helps things make sense, gives you context. And you can do that center spot, and you can do a hot spot. I think that's just within that box. Alternatively, the cool spot, but since it's a heating vent, we'll just look at the hot spot right now. So there aren't as quite, quite as many measurement parameters available on the C2 and C3 versus the Shot Pro. But the MSX technology is definitely more mature and can give you a, a great image. And if you're only looking for some gross details, if you're using it more as a thermometer and a gross diagnostic tool, the C3 and C2 can be an excellent fit. And having that reporting analysis suite will give you all the data, so having the measurement capabilities on the camera isn't quite as important. So, there you have it. The FLIR C3 and the Seek Thermal Shot Pro. Again, both $699, you get some excellent image quality on the new Shot Pro, but you also get the highly developed MSX and reporting capabilities on the C3. Both can do Wi-Fi and shoot images directly to your phone, and both are a great choice for any aspiring thermographer. Thank you for watching. My name is Devin, thermographer here at T-Equipment. If you have any questions, give us a call.